In this problem, we're given some information about a line. We're told that it has a slope of one half and it passes through the origin. And there's two questions. We have to find the point slope form and the slope intercept form. So it's typically easier to start with this. So let's do it. So to find the point slope form, you start by writing down the point slope formula, which is just y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. So this is called the point slope formula. And I always have to remind myself why it's called that so I can memorize it. It's because it has a point, x1, y1, and a slope, which is m, so point slope formula. So now we just have to plug in everything we have. So the 1 half is the slope, and that's the variable m. Then we're told it passes through the origin. That's the point 0, 0. So that means that our x1 is 0, and our y1 is also 0. So all we do now is plug everything into our formula. So this is y minus 0 equals, and then m is 1 half, so 1 half parentheses x minus 0. So technically, that is the point-slope form. We're done. If you like, you can simplify it just a little bit. So y equals 1 half x. This would also be an acceptable answer for the point-slope form. Now here's the tricky part. It wants the slope-intercept form. So what is that? That's basically y equals mx plus b. You might say, wait a minute, we've already done that. So actually, the answer is the same in this case. The answer for the slope-intercept form is actually y equals 1 half x. If you want, you can add the plus 0, right? It's really there, but it's not really necessary. You can leave it just like this. So most of the time when you do this, um, a problem like this, you do this, and then you have to solve for y to get this. However, in this problem here, it was so simple because it was the origin, you didn't really have to do anything. So it's actually the same answer in both cases. Kind of an unusual situation. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck to you.